शरीफ का कतल नामंजूर अशा शरीफ का कतल नामंजूर अशा शरीफ का कतल नामंजूर साहसियों को जीने दो साहसियों को जीने दो साहसियों को जीने दो राइट नो बी ओनली हर्ड दी वर्जन ऑफ दी कीनियन पुलिस एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी डोंट बिलीव देम एंड आई पर्सनली रिजेक्ट दी वर्जन ऑफ दी कीनियन पुलिस आई डोंट बिलीव देम इन टच Uh, with some uh, international media rights bodies and uh, they have also gave us assurance that uh, uh, they will uh, try to find out the facts uh, in kenya uh, they they are in contact with uh, many journalists i am also in contact with some journalists in kenya and uh, we don't believe uh, the version of the kenyan police there are lot of uh, contradictions uh, about uh, the version which was uh, Uh, released by the Kenyan police there are not only some contradictions but uh, there are some very important questions the most important question is that uh, uh, why they targeted uh, a human which was sitting uh, next to the driver and why they never uh, 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 fired on the tire of uh, the vehicle so uh, th uh, we know the the protocol of the police in different uh, countries of the world they uh, try to fire on uh, on the vehicle uh, on the tire of the vehicle they don't fire directly uh, on the passengers and specially they targeted arshad sharif in the head so this is very important that uh, what was their motive so we reject the version or the press release released by the kenyan uh, police and the version which uh, we have uh, Uh, seen uh, in the kenyan media we want an independent a transparent uh, inquiry and uh, we will keep demanding this uh, uh, inquiry until unless uh, there is uh, uh, no conclusion in this uh, target killing of arshad sharif arshad sharif uh, was facing very serious uh, life threats in pakistan because he was uh, one of the best and award winning uh, investigative journalist and uh, he had uh pen down those details about the life threats uh, which he was facing in pakistan uh, to uh, in a letter to the chief justice of pakistan uh, where he mentioned all the names and the details uh, and the nature of the life threat he was facing in pakistan so uh, he uh, left the country uh, when he saw that he is not getting any justice or any support from the institution state institutions to save his life he uh, left for dubai uh from where he applied the uk visa which uh, was denied uh, on the ground that you should apply from pakistan from your own country so kenya is the only country uh, for pakistanis where uh, we can travel without any visa we can travel on the pakistani passport we can get entry uh, just on the pakistani passport without a visa so uh, he went to kenya contradictions in the, the kenyan police uh, report which they have issued earlier the, the press release uh issued by the uh, inspector general of the kenyan police in that report as they have mentioned that the uh, there was a uh, blockade uh, on the road to stop him uh, but he didn't stop and he uh, kept running away and uh, there was a report of a kidnapped child and uh, a missing vehicle so we were in search of that uh, arshad sharif uh, the vehicle uh, in which arshad sharif was uh, traveling it was similar to the to the one in which a child was kidnapped so uh, the reports now coming from the in the independent journalists in kenya are saying that that missing child was recovered earlier so uh, and the reports coming from the ground they are telling us that arshad sharif has been shot from left side uh, from the left wind uh, wind screen from the left of, of the wind screen into the head and he has been shot point blank apparently it seems that he has been shot point blank not from a distance and uh, the vehicle the way the vehicle has been hit the front tire of the vehicle has been hit Uh, two bullets have been fired from the front and two from the back so clearly it seems that the killers have intercepted him from the front not they have chased it from the back of the vehicle so uh, it clearly uh, and uh, this is very clear and apparent that this report uh, contains a number of contradictions in it this is uh, complete uh, i would say uh, this is full of lies Uh, so that is why we are demanding an international fair and transparent investigation into this murder the sanis are shocked to uh, hear that mr arshad sharif has been murdered and uh, in the circumstances he left pakistan 
it is surprising and in the circumstances when he was in dubai or in uae he was ousted from that government probably pakistani government had contacted the uae government that he should not stay there he should be deported to pakistan then suddenly he was not in a position to come in pakistan because there were threats to his life there were cases against him he had already sent a letter to the chief justice of pakistan he has already informed to his fellow colleagues that his life is under threat so in these circumstances he was murdered in kenya i think that is the uh, intentional assault and intentional he was assassinated and there might be a uh, we ha i have uh, as president islamabad high court bar i have uh, demanded that there must be a judicial commission there should be a judicial inquiry to probe into the reasons of the death of mr rashid sharif and similarly i have also requested that a, an international joint investigation investigation team should be constituted to look into the affairs in which circumstances he was murdered in kenya and which were the circumstances which compelled him to leave pakistan to go to dubai or uae and then left uae in which circumstances he went to kenya and what were the circumstances when he was murdered in kenya jo hai sabse zyada protest kar rahi hai pakistani media jo hai wo wasi ke liye aur yahan pe main agar ek baat ko inki jo ab tak takrareer hui hai jo hui hai usne nahi mande arshad sharif ka qatl na manzoor arshad sharif ka qatl na manzoor arshad sharif ka qatl na manzoor sahafiyon ko jeene do sahafiyon ko jeene do sahafiyon ko jeene do arshad sharif ka qatl na manzoor arshad sharif ka qatl Namdu, Ashraf Sharif ka qatl. Namdu.